Hello everyone, um, this is the video that I was making for Talon Faceless. Um, if you've seen my previous videos, you may be confused as to why do they exist, why are they there. Um, the answers will be, well, right now. Um, they were videos that a person asked me um, called Ross Cameron. Uh, he has a channel called tall and faceless and there he was supposed to make you know videos of the slender man he was he was a big fan of it and he wanted to you know bring it back to his glory but then it turns out that slender man was actually following him in real life um it sounds unbelievable but it is it's real um, I will leave the channel and all other important links on the description of this video. And I hope you go see them, you know, to understand what's happening and maybe help Ross. Ross is now gone. He posted a video not too long ago saying that he left the account forever, that he wanted to forget it and try to get out of it. And, uh, well, now... The puppets of the Slenderman, his proxies, are on his account tweeting. And one called Associate has put me in charge of documenting some of, well, everything that's uploaded to Twitter. Um, or, well, in general, to document it for Ross while he's gone. Um, I'll be putting images right now. There's also something else that happened um, in the website video. Um, it seems like Associate and his friends um, made a website, a, a website called The Path of Black Leaves. Um, so I'll be showing a video of it right now. So here it is. This is the website. Welcome to the Awaiting Utopia. Yeah, I'm sure it is really pretty to be with this Slenderman, right? We can see you, we can see you, we can see you. Um, I'm not sure what this is about. Well, in the About page you can see what at first glance seems like gibberish, but it could be a code. It's very probable that it's a code. These are, you know, the three proxies, you could say. They are Associate, which is the one that has talked to me and put me in charge. Cryptid Stalker, that was the first one to appear, the first one to stalk Ross. And Collaborator, that, well, I can't remember him doing something very important i think he was the second one to appear or no it was he was the third i think the thing is that these are the three bastards that are nothing more but puppets of the slender man and it seems like they think it's some kind of savior um in services um hello my children i am the associate the great god Sajar, Sajarith to the path of black leaves. Are they calling Slenderman Sajarith? Huh. Now, the path of black leaves is really familiar to me. I'll make a small, you know, time to talk about that because I know about the path of black leaves a lot. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, I think here. I'm at the campsite where... no the campsite is one of the first contacts with Slenderman so yeah it seems like 
he's huh yeah Sayerith is Slenderman God himself Sayerith in Moon Tribe 12 huh the cult of black leaves hmm huh. Matthew Jefferson cryptid stalker so it seems like cryptid was uh uh, I'm human before now this is the first time in going through the website um, I just found out um, I obviously this is binary I'll be decoding it later um, I may post it in description and everything I'll be checking out these pages later maybe I'll do a small video about them if they have really important stuff. I'll leave the link to the website in the description also. Contact if you need to reach me. Hmm. I guess I'll be sending some stuff to this email um, sometime. Well, there doesn't seem to be much else. I'll be checking out the website more calmly later. And if there's something very important, I'll be uploading a video tomorrow, probably. Well, now, on to the talk about the Path of Black Leaves. I'll quickly point out that the, these two images that appeared on the website are the first images to ever be posted, the first content to ever be posted of the Slenderman online. Um, in, you know, the Something Awful forums in 2009, Create Paranormal Images, and Victor Search, Eric Knudsen, posted these two images. Um, now that I think, uh, now that this has been revealed to me, it's very possible that maybe these aren't actually photoshopped. Um, well, that's all, really. I just wanted to make sure it was talked about. Now, I know what Severance is, I've watched Tribe 12, but I want to point out that Tribe 12 is actually fictional. Um, you know, Ross made a photo on uh, Photoshop um, about, you know, Tribe 12, Tribe 12 themed. And as you're going to see now, Adam Rosner himself retweeted it. So, I don't know why Associate put it on the website i guess maybe it's to show people either something familiar to show that his master is everywhere i'm not sure it's kind of confusing now um about the path of black leaves um if it wasn't obvious enough the path of black leaves is a domain of slenderman his own dimension maybe a pocket dimension of sorts um it appears as a, well, you guessed it, a path surrounded by trees with black leaves. Um, it was first mentioned, or well, it first appeared on the blog White Elephants, the slender blog White Elephants. Um, it was used by proxies uh, as a, you know, transportation method. They used the dimension to reach different places. Uh, another thing is that Slenderman was able to warp this place at will. Uh, he could do anything, you know, warping reality in there, shaping it and changing it. Sometimes it wasn't a path of black leaves at all, sometimes maybe it was a city or something else. And there's also another entity that supposedly lives there called the Bleeding Tree. Um, I will be leaving the links to White Elephants, uh, both the original and archives on the description, so you can check them out. I'm going to say that I'm not sure how true all of the info that came from White Elephants and the existence of the Bleeding Tree may be true, S mostly because White Elephants it seems to be fictional. Meanwhile, Rosa, Rosa's adventure isn't, but the writer of, you know, 
white elephants could have very well heard about the path of black leaf someone el somewhere else. I mean, it seems like uh, associate cryptid stalker collaborator aren't the only ones and that there's actually a cult of the path of black leaves so who knows really i guess we'll know in the future so now to finish the video um to all new well no old subscribers very little very little but maybe you will see this video um if this interested you i suggest to go into the description and you know uh, check Ross Ross's channel and Twitter follow it subscribe um, Activate the bell To you know know when Ross may come back or when Slenderman and Pauls may upload a video and If you may if you came from Ross then you know subscribe to my channel if you are interested in seeing this kind of videos I'll try to compile anything that comes out and, you know, keep it in one video so people can come and, you know, catch on on everything that has happened. Small announcement, um, or teaser you may say, I'm not sure still but I've been thinking about making a timeline for the series. Uh, kind of like, you know, the Tribe 12 comprehensive timeline of events. In that style, you know, with links and dates and maybe even times. I'm still not sure because I've been short of time lately, tests have been up, school has been consuming my energy. But I found, I found time to make this video, so maybe I'll find time to make the timeline. <laughs> Well, goodbye and see you in another video.